Today we're gonna to draw a dragon. Here's my example of my dragon. I used crayon to color my dragon, but you can use colored pencil, marker. You can use a mix of both marker and colored pencil and crayon if you wanted to. Uh, I drew it in pencil and then I traced it in Sharpie. So I'm gonna do the same thing with you today. I'm gonna to take away my finished drawing. You'll see it at the end of the video. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fold our paper in half like a hot dog bun. Once you fold your paper in half like a hot dog bun, open it up and fold it like a book or a hamburger bun. Once you have your paper folded, you'll see that you have four rectangles on your paper. Those rectangles and creases are gonna help us figure out how to draw and where to draw the parts of our dragon. The first thing we're going to do is we're gonna draw the dragon's uh, belly or chest or neck, whatever you wanna call it. Start in the very center of your paper and make a curve that goes out and down. The next thing you're going to do is draw his nose. We're gonna start right here on this crease that goes through the center of your paper, not all the way to the edge, but a little bit towards the inside of your paper. And we're gonna make a line that goes up and then up again, and then around the outside of your paper and kind of curves like a snake. On this one, I made it more of a snake-like body. On this one, I made it go straight out. So you can do it either way. Now that I have that part done, I'm gonna draw the mouth of my dragon now, if I'm going too fast, stop the video, rewind it, and start over. I'm gonna draw the bottom lip of my dragon, and then a little bit of his chin and his cheek. Draw his neck connecting to the rest of his body. After that, let's draw his eye, which goes straight down and back, and then it's curved on the top. Now this isn't like a human eye, it's almost like a cat's eye, the way it has a little center part. Usually the pupil is a circle, this time it's more of a seed, like a sunflower seed shape. Once you draw that, we're gonna draw his ear, which kind of comes out like an elf ear and then back. But you have to draw another line inside of here so that way there's a flap on the, ins on the outside of his inner ear. We're gonna draw his nostril, which kind of looks like a comma or a teardrop upside down. We're gonna draw his belly. So I'm gonna start here at the ear and I'm gonna go all the way down following the shape of his body to the bottom of the paper. We're almost finished. You can add a horn. So right behind his eye, I'm gonna draw a line and a horn that stretches all the way back here. His horn overlaps his body of the, or his head, so we have to erase this line. After that, we're gonna draw some spikes going down the back of his head. Starting up here, I'm gonna draw one spike, and I'm gonna draw one kind of peeking out the back here, another one peeking from back there, and then I'm gonna start over here again, drawing spikes that go down back of his neck. 
You can make them as big or little as you want. If you don't want to add spikes, don't add spikes. When you're finished drawing, you can add scales, you can add eyelashes. If you want to add any other details to your dragon, do that before you start tracing. You can trace in a Sharpie if you have one. If you don't have one, you can use a regular Crayola black marker. You can trace in crayon. You can use anything to make your lines a little bit more bold and stand out a little bit more before you color. Once you're done tracing, don't forget to sign it and color your picture. When I colored mine, I used crayon, but when I colored it, I tried to use two different colors for different areas. So on the back of his neck, I did a really heavily coloring of red, but then I started to gradually make it lighter and I took red orange and met the two colors. So the red, orange, and red meet in the middle and it makes a really cool tone right here on his neck. I used yellow, orange, and yellow, and I blended the two colors in the middle. On his head, I did all four colors. I started with red, red, orange, yellow, orange, to yellow. In his eyes, I colored with a little bit of green on top of the yellow, and then I made a green pupil. On his horn, I made black really heavy on the outside, and then I colored lightly on the inside. On his spikes, I did dark green on the outside and then I did yellow for the center. Make your dragon whatever color you want. If you want a purple dragon, make him a purple dragon. If you want to color the background a different color, I think black would have looked really cool to make the dragon really stand out. You can make whatever you want. Have fun.